Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you something right now that I just found in this chimney right here. It's not something we generally can see because usually chimneys are covered over. This one's not, so I was able to get a visual um, to look down. Now, technically, this is a visual inspection, but whenever I can, and it makes sense, um, I like to go as far as I can uh, for my client's sake so they know what they're getting into here. Um, so this chimney, you can see it's a brick chase, just a concrete cap around. Um, we've got a clay flue liner here. Very typical. It actually doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape up here at the top. This clay flue liner goes all the way down. You can see, I'm gonna shine down here so you can get a good, good view at it. There we go. And these clay flue liners um, are two foot sections that are stacked or supposed to be stacked directly on top of each other with mortar applied in between those joints. Now this one, here's the problem. I'm gonna see if I can set my phone here. Go. You guys might go for a ride, watch out. <laughs> uh, this one right here, right at this spot, at the first joint, my finger is resting. You can see that little lip. That's about three quarters of an inch um, offset, which means this top section was installed offset. The problem here is that the mortar has now um, disappeared or deteriorated from between those two sections. So what's going to get in there? We're going to have moisture getting in there from the condensation. Think of, you know, on a cold winter day, you've got the warm, moist air coming up from your furnace, from your water heater, and that type of thing. They used clay on purpose because clay can keep the water out of the bricks, and brick will just soak up water like a sponge. So now, because of this challenge, uh, moisture has been able to get in there. So we're going to have to call this out. Now, what's interesting is on the outside of this uh, chimney here, ironically, at about the two-foot mark, look at this brick right here. That face of the brick just popped right off. Um, probably moisture coming through because that joint is right in this area. So we're really glad we could catch this today. Can't always see it, um, but it just comes down to installation and poor installation by whoever put this chimney in. They just weren't paying attention. Uh, everybody have a great day.